After a grand procession into St. Patrick's Cathedral, Timothy M. Dolan was officially installed as the Archbishop of the New York Archdiocese on Wednesday. He'll be replacing Edward Cardinal Egan as the head of the largest archdiocese in the United States. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything different than in the past. I'll still preach the truth. I'll still try to apply the uh, immutable teachings of Jesus and his church to contemporary situations. Known by colleagues as a friendly, jovial man. You're going to help us feed some hungry families. Excellent. So, and I'm a, I am an expert in alleviating hunger. <laughs> <laughs> the archbishop is considered a conservative on issues important to the church, including abortion and female priests. He has also promised to speak out against a bill proposed by Governor David Patterson that would recognize same-sex marriage in New York. I would have things to say about that, you bet. Our goal is to change our lives to be in conformity with the teachings of Jesus and his church, not to change the teachings of Jesus and the church to be in conformity with what we want. We think that if he actually got to know some gay Catholics, that he'd realize that we're no threat to the institution of marriage. Dolan said that he would work to increase the ranks of priests and to continue the reforms enacted after sexual abuse scandals plagued the church a few years ago. Anything I can do to help that, say but the word. He also said that one of his biggest challenges will be attracting new members to the Catholic Church. The church is struggling, has a lot of challenges facing it, and I think he can energize a lot of the priests in New York, a lot of people in New York, to just be proud to be Catholic. Wednesday's Mass wrapped up two days of ceremony and prayer, which began when Dolan symbolically knocked on the doors of St. Patrick's before presiding over the evening's solemn vespers. The new archbishop, who moved here from overseeing the Milwaukee Archdiocese, says he's happy to be in New York and looks forward to attending both a Yankees and a Mets game at the end of the week. And I'm glad it's not Lent so I can have a hot dog on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. This is Brian Stillman with NYPost.com.